Hello my brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. In this video, I am going to show you guys what it means to be lukewarm and what it means not to be lukewarm, okay? Let me show you guys. It's all in scriptures, but we have to keep scriptures in context. Okay, watch this. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? This thing said the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold, cold or hot. But then, because thou art lukewarm, or neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Now you must yourself, okay? Jesus is telling me that I'm neither cold nor hot. Why? And he gives you the explanation as to why you're cold. This is the context. He says, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods. The question here is, are you saying that you're rich? Are you saying that you're increased with goods? Are your eyes fixed on the things of the world? On the possessions of life? On the pride of life? On the things of this world? Are you focused in the vain glory of life. And are you boasting and saying, I am rich and increased with goods. You see, Jesus said, if you are boasting, if you're literally saying that you're, you're increased with goods, if you believe that gain is godliness, that's what it means to be lukewarm. Then Jesus said, you're lukewarm. He says, you're wretched, miserable, and poor, poor, blind, and naked. We have to look at this the, the right way. And he gives us the definition. He says, it explained to us what's happening. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods. I have need of nothing. Knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. And he goes on to tell us, what, was, what must we do? What is he counseling us to do? He says, I counsel thee to buy me gold. Tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eyes off, that thou mayest see. <laughs> then he goes, on, he goes on to say, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Be zealous with God, and stop saying that you have great riches and that you, your riches are increased and that stop saying you're rich and that you're powerful and that you know you have need of nothing you have to understand when you place riches before God Jesus Christ himself says God himself says you are wretched you are miserable you are poor blind and naked so we have to understand what it really says now if someone has a food in the world and they have Jesus as well, but they have a food in the world, they're lukewarm as well, because they're in the things of the world, and they're trying to please God as well, so they're lukewarm, they cannot, uh, they cannot battle spiritual wars the same way as someone who's cherry hot, as someone who's praising God, as someone who's praying, as someone who's seeking the presence of God every day, and they're on fire for Jesus, obviously, they're not hot like Jesus the Jesus Christ wants them to be. So God wants us to be hot. He wants us to be 100% in the things of His kingdom. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you.